In this video, I'm going to show us how to create the circles at the intersections that we made in the last video. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is go to the circle tool. Uh, one of the easiest ways to get there is just hit the letter C on your keyboard, and it should change it. Now the next thing is, uh, going over and selecting my circle tool, I am going to click on the intersection. I'm going to start by doing the top one. So clicking on it, important part is slide up or slide out and click directly on the guideline. And the important part of the reason why is we're going to use the endpoints um, lining up there uh, in our next, I guess, combining of features or details. So after I do that, I'm going to enter my first dimension, and that is one inch. Next thing I'm going to do is the exact same thing. Click on the intersection, slide straight up or straight out, click again on the intersection, and type in three-fourths. Now I have my two top circles. I'm going to slide over to the right axis and do the same thing here with my dimensions. The first one, click, select one more time. This one's going to be one-fourth radius. The next largest one, click, click again on the guideline, is 7 sixteenths. And then lastly, click and click one more time, 11 sixteenths. And I'm going to do the exact same thing in the opposite intersection. So click and click, one fourth, click and click, 7 sixteenths. Click, click again, make sure you click on the guidelines, and this is going to go into 11 sixteenths. Now I am set up for the next step, which is going to be combining the circles uh, with the arc tool and the pencil tool, which is the line. Alright, thanks for watching this video. Good luck. Hit save.